Energy Minister Chris Bowen has ridiculed the Morrison government's energy agenda as Labor seeks to legislate its emissions reduction target as soon as possible. Mr Bowen has made clear Labor's 43% cut is not a ceiling and is willing to work with the crossbench on sensible amendments to combat climate change. Chris Bowen sums up Australia's energy woes. Far too many megawatts taken off with not enough megawatts brought on. Just over five weeks ago, the incoming energy minister took on one of Australia's toughest posts. Unprecedented chaos has already seen the intervention of the market operator, and Mr Bowen concedes further shortfalls could come this winter. I'm not about to start making predictions other than whatever needs to be done will be done to keep the lights on. In a speech to the National Press Club, he made clear Labor intends to legislate its ambitious 43% emissions reduction target to give certainty to investors, promising... We will explicitly task, in law, the Climate Change Authority to assess and publish progress against these targets and advise government on future targets, including the 2035 target. He will also personally report to Parliament annually on his success. I see this report as frankly being similar to the Closing the Gap report. Labor says its target isn't a ceiling, remaining open to working with the new Teal crossbench, which wants tougher carbon cuts. But we won't be entertaining any amendments which are not consistent with our agenda and our mandate. In a sign of exploding costs, the new government appears to be walking back from its pledge to cut power prices by up to $275 annually by 2025. Are you confident still, though, in, in those figures on, on that? Well, as I said, it's more important than ever. Of course, figures will move around. You know, since the modelling was done, we've seen Snowy 2.0 running late, we've seen default market offer, offer going up. But I'm very, very confident that the policy impact which we modelled will be met, and that is uh, downward pressure on prices through more renewables in the system. Labor, though, is pushing ahead with its promise to cut tariffs and abolish the fringe benefits tax on affordable electric vehicles from July 1. The new government has made a virtue of better engaging with stakeholders. On Thursday, Chris Bowen and a Labor team will travel to the Torres Strait to hear firsthand about the impact of climate change. I think it's important for us to go there. These are Australian citizens, our brothers and sisters, at the front line more than anybody. It all comes as other nations turn back to coal and gas to ease their reliance on Russia, proving the climate wars are littered with battles. Jonathan Lee, Sky News, Canberra.